Well, howdy, 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 near these seniors that listen here, greeting these boys and girls, and welcome to this another brand new day. And remember, when I say good morning, boys and girls, I'm not gendering you. I'm referring to you in in childish terms because I'm infantilizing you, so I can just not deal with the whole gendering issue entirely, because. There's a lot of stuff going on with people's bodies, and you never know. So, I try to avoid the whole gendering thing just by infantilizing everybody. Thumbs up for that. Anyway, though, greetings. It is Sunday. Sunday? It is Sunday? It is Sunday. And I actually slept not wonderful last night, because I, I got to bed a little bit late. It was after midnight, so probably close to half past midnight before I was finally in bed. And then it took a long time to fall asleep. So, yay for that. I mean, it wasn't hours, but it might have been 45 minutes, an hour before I fell asleep. But then, I actually, I didn't sleep all the way through. I did wake up early. There was some minor flip-flopping, but then I got up at the time I wanted to, and I took a shower. So I took a shower this morning, and I, I slept, as, said, as stated, just not well, and showered, so I'm clean, and, and well, I mean, I'm clean. It's just with a shower, of course, I can get my hair washed, so that's a good thing, because I can't wash my hair like, you know, some people can do it, you know, leaning over a sink, because with my back, I can't lean over a sink, and I can't lean into a shower stall to wash my hair because again I have to lean and that's going to destroy my back. So I can only wash my hair when I'm standing. So thumbs up for that. I mean otherwise I'm clean. You know I wash and that's a good thing. Definitely a thumbs up. Just I don't use chemicals. You know, just water and a washcloth. But that's okay. It's good. It's fine. It's wonderful. It's a brilliant day. And so I feel okay. I went for small walkies last night. Walked to the post office. Walked all the way around town. Wandered through Safeway going, gosh, you know, I wish I had money to buy stuff. And then left. <laughs> and then just came home. So I got about an hour's walk between two and three miles I push and I power walk as best I can to make up for intensity what I lose in what is that term for there's a term for length that's kind of like intensity length of time but I can't remember what it is and that's painful I hate not being able to remember but make up for in quality what I'm losing in quantity maybe to put it that way eh, so here's open but it was later it was like 9 30 ish when i went out walking well 9 15 got back here at about 10 15 so definitely a good thing and it's warm as all get out during the daytime but got cold last night so i wore my summer jacket and was almost chilly so it was kind of nice not nice again my body does not do cold well but at the same time my body does better with cold than it does with heat i mean if i get too cold then i am going to start shivering so hard i'm gonna like almost have seizures and that's not good but life is life because it's when cold weather i feel energized and i can do things whereas warm weather i fell asleep in here yesterday and it was an hour hour and a half i was just out the thing is of course when which ties into this never make important decisions when you're not thinking clearly i know that if i fall asleep without my sleep mask on i'm going to stop breathing and if i do that that's going to put a big strain on my heart my brain that's not good i don't want a heart attack or stroke or any of my other organs to fail so but still i was waking up unable to think clearly and just going gosh you know i'm just gonna sleep some more and then i'd settle back down and fall asleep in this chair knowing but not able to think clearly especially 
Never make an important decision that you can't walk away from when you aren't thinking clearly. Oh, ooh. That's the decisions you can't walk away from. Like, you know, am I going to take these pills? Am I going to cut my, myself with this razor? Am I going to take this gun? Never make a decision that you can't walk away from when you're not thinking clearly. And if you're deeply depressed, you're not thinking clearly. What looks obvious and 2 plus 2 equals 4 when you're in that not thinking clearly state, when you're out of it and you can think clearly, you're going, holy smokes, that was 1.3 plus 5.7 to the power of 8, and it comes out to some sort of quadratic equation that is not right. So, yeah, please, anybody, never make any decisions you cannot walk away from when you are not thinking clearly. And of course, my choker continues to cause controversy in various comment sections, most of which I have to delete because they end up getting abusive pretty quickly. Because they start off abusive and then go downhill from there. It's like, I don't understand why people have problems with a guy wearing a necklace. And it's not everybody. In fact, they're, they're for every 10 positive comments, saying, I like your choker, and thumbs up, that's a cool choker. There's the one person that'll say something like, are you gay, why are you wearing that? Or the one that I saw earlier that ended up in a thread that got deleted because of the abusive comments. It was just, dude, you're not in KISS, take the choker off. Okay, KISS wore huge costumes with mass makeup. They didn't just wear a necklace. And whether or not anybody thinks this, God, my atria is going nuts this morning. It is just skipping beats and being very unpleasant. Every time I try to talk, it goes, boop, 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 and just did it again. So, yay. But gosh, let's go back to that. It's um, There are some people that look at it and go, all they can see is the BDSM stuff. I mean, as I've mentioned before, I understand that this thing right here is most likely 99% a representation of a rooster ring, cock-a-doodle-doo. So I understand that. And if you look at this and all you can see is BDSM, that's your mind, not me, because I like it for the punk aesthetic. I think this one and my heart one, which I have right here, have a very punk aesthetic to them, and I enjoy that. I've thought about getting the kind that have rivets on them, but I want it also that they have to be comfortable, and I don't know how comfortable that would be. But I, I'm, I was, grew up during like the big punk time, and I really like the way punk stuff looks. I mean, I like the mohawk and and all that, that the, the riveted, the punk clothing, and yeah. So yeah, I know there's a BDSM stuff part of this, especially with the rooster ring, but oh well. And it doesn't make me anything other than just a human being to wear it, because all through history, men and women and everyone in between because yeah i remember tent pole tent pole you know male female but the tent pole is a tent pole that holds up the tent and inside of each tent is the vast amount of people who don't who don't who don't fit in the middle of the tent pole but are around that there are a lot of people that are not exactly x x x y and even those people that are exactly XX and XY, yeah, there's differences in body stuff that make it so that your gender expression doesn't fit your gender body. Your sex doesn't fit your gender. It happens. That's science. Because they have found, especially this one science who does drug stuff, you can either force people to take, <coughs> force people into weird boxes or you can understand that it's not just a and b and if you have the tent pole with the tent that covers things 
Whereas you start having the weird, yeah, male but female, female but male, and then you've just got the weird pigeonholing instead of just science. Now, why did I go on that rant? I don't know. I think what I'm trying to say is trans rights or human rights. <laughs> That's a big thing. You know, I'm, I'm on the side of justice and on the side of the underdog and on the side of, well, justice again. I hate injustice of any kind. It bothers me a lot. And I, I don't have the ability to do anything about it but I hate it. I mean, I vote in the US and I do what I can. I live my life according to my principles, but I come across things in my actual life so infrequently that I don't know. But online, I try to do my very best because all I can do is let people know that I'm on their side. So, and uh, whoever you are, you know, again, the remembering the whole good, evil, moral, immoral, and all that. I believe in people, and we need things to help people. So if you're on the side of people, then yeah, that's good. And if you're on the side of not people, that's bad. <coughs> that's what so irritates me right now about how we're driving right towards a cliff face. And the leaders of the world are driving this vehicle that the whole population of the world is in. And right now, they're not only driving at 90 miles an hour toward the cliff face, they've got the, a door welded on to the driver's cabin of the bus. They've got it welded shut. They've got a big weight on the gas pedal and they're busy yelling to everybody, we're almost there take off your seat belts and start leaning out the windows and wave your arms because we're going to hit soon. Whereas I think most people would rather be on the side of those who are trying to get the damn door open so we can get the driver out of there so we can at least slam the brakes on and maybe turn the wheel a bit. Yes, people are going to die, but that's better than everyone dying. I mean, we got to change what's happening and we've, we're seeing people that are getting money right now. They are getting richer right now, knowing that everybody's going to die and not caring because today they made a little more money. Because remember, when you get money, and they have documented this, they have shown it with brain scans and all, that when you get money, it is the same effect on the human brain as if an what did they call those? The IEDs, improvised explosive device, went off, causing traumatic brain injury. You have an inability to empathize, empathize with others. You become extremely narcissistic. You are, you just, you lose the ability to deal with people. Money and power does that to human beings and our brains. I'd like to get a little bit of money just so that I don't have to worry about being homeless, but I don't ever, I'm not ever, I mean, number one, I'm stuck in my economic caste, you know, and there's no real way for me to ever make a great amount of money. But, you know, if I ever somehow magically made a great amount of money, I mean, what on earth would I do with it? My life is small and I'm happy with it being small. I mean. I find it difficult keeping this room clean because of my physical limitations. I'm glad I got housemates because this house, just half of the house, is too much for me to take care of because this room is almost too much for me to take care of. And my bedroom on top of that, it's overwhelming. I don't need a lot. I just need a bedroom, an office, a bathroom, a kitchen a storage room, and, and that's it. I just need tiny, tiny place. Enough for my space and me, but I don't need a huge amount. I wouldn't know what to do with it. I just need enough room for me and my stuff. And I don't have a huge amount of stuff. So, again, I'd like to have enough money that I wouldn't have to worry about being homeless every single month, but I don't 
need or want tens of thousands or be one of those people that doesn't have to worry about money. I like empathizing with others. I like not being narcissistic. I like being moral and ethical. So what would I do with money? And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. And I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment today. Thank you so very, very much. I cannot read all of the comments. There are just so many they sneak through. I have them listed chronologically, but there's just so many. If I miss you, I'm very, very sorry. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. We're just not good at that. Again, I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read them afterward and thumbs up each one I can, answer as many as possible. But again, I, there's just a lot. And of course, I count in American Sign Language, but with my depression, fibro, and more, I'm lucky I can remember that my name is not Rutherford P. Farquhar. So that's why it's arranged at 20 to 25. So here we go. Let me call out my chrome. And we have the sun. Very cool. Kirillinum. Oh, with knee operations. Luckily, they are very routine so there shouldn't be a, a, a much of an issue camel piss flavor i would not drink that soda freeze greatly appreciated <coughs> pandora nyc1 thank you so very much melissa r greatly appreciated sebastian ferris definitely and thank you so much for being so patient thomas gibson greatly appreciated russ x5z thank you very very much marble man yt there's a mix of capital and uncap capital and non-capitalized letters, so that's why it was hard to read. Miller Jude, thumbs up and thank you. Yo Yotoki? I sure hope I'm close, but I bet I know I'm nowhere near. Random person, thank you very, very much. Ashura Marsh, greatly appreciated. Thalemic Magic, greatly appreciated. Sixes, sixes, greatly appreciated. Fortnite is gay. Yeah, it may be, who knows? Narvel Swagger. I mean, it doesn't matter if it is gay. I mean, why would that matter? Justina, greatly appreciated. Thomas S, thumbs up and thank you. I play games. Oh, that's a good thing. Shaylee Horner, greatly appreciated. Mike Hutton, thumbs up and thank you. And if that's the same Mike Hutton that I know of, we, we were been friends for like decades, so hopefully it is. Cy, greatly appreciated. And last but not least, Chris, with an apostrophe. Thumbs up and thank you. Ah, my arm hurts. Damn, I don't know why. Ever since I fell down, but it's been like five months now. But ever since I fell, it's just hurt right inside there when I left my arm up for any length of time. And it didn't before, but it does now. Still. I wonder why. Oh well though. Hey, if you could, check out my various links. I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, NearlySeniorCitizen.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. Now, if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I do take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest, so thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. Definitely a thumbs up. And if you can subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool. Greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to. I mean, hey. But if you are down with it, I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time, which will be hopefully longer than, well, hopefully it'll be trillennia from now. And not just like next Tuesday, which would be bad. That would be bad. That would be bad. But then, you know, if we were all dead, we wouldn't know it, would we? Because after all, what's it like after we die? Well, just remember what it was like before you were born. And it's going to be exactly like that. It's still scary, though. I worry more about the physical pain of death and the terror of knowing that it's coming. The actual dying part, I'm, I understand. I've been able to intellectualize it and emotionally deal with it on and off. You know, I don't like it. I'm human, you know, I'll be okay with it. And then the next day I'm not okay with it at all. But that's just the way life goes, so. I just don't want the pain and terror. That part kind of sucks. I mean, on the one hand, I kind of like to go when I'm sleeping. But on the other hand, that really sucks too. <laughs> I mean, uh, as much as it's terrifying, I'd like to be able to know and understand it as it's happening.
to understand it and take the terror out. Well, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing. I didn't mean to get morbid at the end there. I am so very sorry.